come off here. Take this one nut, like myself. Just a little heat on this. Oh, there's the wheel. Alright. Oh, yeah. Let that sit for a second. So this propeller, this propeller hasn't been a part, worked on, or really anything. Um, 1982, I believe is what the log said. So this propeller was on the other engine, and you've seen how those parts I've been showing you wore out. It's, it's from that other engine, and this propeller was on that other engine most of its life. And only recently did Connie switch and switch propellers. So the propeller over there was on here with this newer engine, but it had been switched and. Now we're going to get this one to take a look at and balance her up and get her all ready to go. So I got an oil issue. I don't want that to be caught. Probably should just sit it on the ground and let it drain. That's what Lou and Al was talking about putting a cap on. The way it's going to ride, it's going to ride with the nose nose down, so it'll be turned upright. But for now, let's put her on the deck. All right, come on. Right here now, with the front of the engine, minus one each propeller. And like I said, the oil comes through in here and goes in through the, through the tube and operates a spring mechanism and there's counterweights. And then, and then here's the governor underneath the, the shroud and it has counterweights. And between oil pressure and hub oil because I think on the black side I think that is its own oil it's preserved yeah it's got to be because it's been pickled with that red dye yeah the red dye okay so there's two separate oil things going on for this propeller one is what you've seen right now and that is just pressure pushed I believe on a baffle inside and that pushing whatever it rotates those counterweights and then it turns this this hub turn both both of these hubs turn and will go all the way to a complete feather I mean they'll turn 90 degrees to the wind so they're not a drag so all this is gonna get checked out all the hardware the ring gear all the everything going on in here and it's gonna get inspected resealed and calibrated I don't believe it'll be a complete overhaul. I don't care about overhaul. I care about as long as it's good shape, and that's what a qualified inspection is. So we're gonna have, I'm gonna have this inspected all the way through, but because I'm not overhauling it, I don't have to replace mandatory 
pieces and parts if they're fine. Since it's just an inspection, you need to just take it apart, inspect, and replace what needs to be replaced. And seal her up, test her out, check her out, run her, or well, check the balance. Check So you check the angle of the blade the whole way through, the cord line, and the harmonics, because these blades will, they wobble, or they, uh, and through har harmonics, frequency, and vibration, they, they flex back and forth. And if it's out of balance like it's been, it could have a stress crack fracture or inside the metal cracking or some fatigue. So all that's going to get looked at. Last time this was apart and done this was 1982. And those are the, no, those are the counterweights right there. All that working together and then the, with the governor. <clears throat> and that transfers 260 horsepower, shaft horsepower, engine horsepower, and a thrust. Uh, it, just, like, just like an air wing is shaped the way it is to create lift, so is the propeller. Let me clean her up so she won't leak all over. I know we'll get her, get her on her way to the shop. All right. All right.